I'm just smiling here. Just keep smiling. There we go. Just say hi to everybody. On, on hey, now. hey, everybody. Howdy, howdy, my Facebook friends, my crafting buddies. Welcome, welcome. Come on in to the makery. If you are new, I'm Robin. I, why do I always do that? I'm Robin. <laughs> to remind, who am I talking about? I'm Robin. Behind the camera and computer is Bill, and we are Raincross Farms Makery, and we're coming to you from just outside of Lewiston, Idaho, and we have crafts galore. So happy Sunday evening. We are glad for those of you that are joining us live. If it says live in a red box right up here, you'll know you're catching us live. If that box isn't there, you're catching the replay. Either way, we are glad to have you. Please pop on, say hello. If you're new, let us know where you're watching from. And I'm gonna take just a second and pull this up on my phone. Hi, Liana. There we are, so I can see who's here. Liana's here, welcome. Welcome. There's Christina. Hey, Christina, yes. I knew what I was gonna wear today. Turned out good, didn't it? I I like it. So if you if you weren't watching last night, we made this shirt last night uh, using our ink products. So if you want to watch that video, check our page and look on videos, and it should be one of the top ones. Hi Patty. Hey Melissa. Thank you for sprinkling. Hi Alana. Happy Sunday evening. Hope you all had a great weekend. I don't know about you, but I took my Sunday nap and I just kind of napped all day and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. didn't get much done, but I did do the dishes. You did. So you did the I dishes. did. And then, and then Bill put most of them away and there's still more. Anyway, so welcome. You know what to do. Love our page. Follow us if you haven't already. And if you would be so kind as to spread our video to your friends, to your page to your craft groups that you belong to. We would really appreciate that. So who else is here? Except it seems a little bit, well, I like, I like to be able to have room. So anyway, I don't like them tight, tight. What? It's snowing. Snowing. Right snowing. You oh, tell me again, you're in Pennsylvania? Somewhere back East, Pennsylvania, Minnesota. Pennsylvania, I think, if I remember. Anyway, quick reminder, um, I have my Valentine mini kits on sale. If you're interested, you can type Valentine in the comments. You'll get a link to the ordering page. You can take a look. So while they last, they've got all the, all the supplies that you need to chalk a cute little heart Valentine hanger like this. The designs, will vary the colors may vary but they're all valentine themed so get you one of those if you if you'd like okay tonight we are going to use a transfer i haven't used before it's part of our winter warm-up no yes winter warm-up catalog and i've had this in my head ever since i decided well probably before i decided to use it tonight it says all you need is love and now all I can hear is that Beatles song over and over and over. Sing it with me. All you need is love. Anyway, you didn't, you didn't come on to hear me sing. So that's what we're going to do. Mary Ann's in New Jersey. Patty, though, I want to say Patty's in Pennsylvania. I'm not trusting my memory on that, though. So look at the pretty yeah, top. Of yes, it. I know. You watched. You watched it be born. <laughs> so we have not had snow for week, week, a week, week or so, life. and our snow is is uh, it's disappearing. It's starting it's to. It's ice. disappearing. It it ices over every night, and we go down the driveway, and we kind of shush and what is it? I don't know what yeah, no yeah I don't know what I don't know what skiing terms are. We do a little Slip sliding. Slide, no Working way. on a Valentine tree. Is it with a plunger? 
Okay, so we're going to use this transfer and it is still available. So if you're interested in purchasing this transfer, any of the supplies we use tonight, the keyword is beetles. <laughs> and I put it, I entered it both ways. If you spell it B-E-A-T-L-E-S or B-E-E-T-L-E-S, it should send you, it should send you the bot. Anyway, because they sang this song. Anyway, because I didn't think you'd be typing beetles inadvertently. Anyway, so we are going to chalk this on a bargain surface. So we are going to use, this is just a sheet of scrapbook paper that I bought at probably Joann's. Does it say? Uh, Hob, this, this was Hobby Lobby. No, this was a single sheet. It was 69 cents, but I, I never buy anything full price. So it was probably 40% off of that. So you can get you can get a sheet of this scrapbook paper for less than a dollar. Find something you like. And this, I don't know if you can see, it it looks like denim. That's why I liked it. I kind of thought it kind of has a hippie vibe to it. You know, the the denim and the denim and tie-dye. So that's kind of what we're going for. Now I'm going to trim this. So we are going to chalk on paper. We're going to make this into a hanging banner. So I cut this, I'm going to leave it 12 inches long, but I cut it to eight and a half, eight and a half inches wide. I just used my handy dandy little trimmer. You can just use a pair of scissors if you want. And then what we're going to use for the top and the bottom are paint sticks. Like, like we did here, only these are the, these are the five gallon size. These are the one gallon size. So you're going to need four of these. Did you say that the, those are the adult popsicle sticks? No, someone did. I did not say that. I think in someone, that. someone said adult popsicle or tongue depressors. Okay. So you'll need, you'll need four of these and we need to cut them down or I am going to cut them down because they have this, these little indentations i guess so you can hold it when you're stirring the paint like you're going to use them for stirring paint at home depot should know these are craft these are craft supplies and we don't need the little hand the little finger holds anyway so we're going to trim that off right before that right before that so let me show you how i did it without power tools so i took my little ruler and i put it down it measure i can get about nine and a quarter inches before that indent and i'm going to use my craft knife and i'm going to stand up so i can get above it okay and i'm going to hold it down and i'm just going to kind of lightly score it to start with right along that edge and then once once i've got a couple of passes it's deep enough that i can move the ruler and I'm just going to cut at it a couple of times. I'm not trying to go all the way through. And then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna do that same nine and a quarter or however long you want it. I, I want it to stick out from the eight and a half inch wide paper. So again, I'm just gonna lightly score it. And then I'm gonna move that ruler and then I'm gonna score it a couple more times and if I measured that correctly it should be pretty much lined up top and bottom so I'm not I'm not even trying to go all the way through so I've got it cut in on the top I've got it cut in on the bottom and this is how I'm going to this is how I'm going to cut it I'm going to line this up on my table edge watching I'm there so we go. Impressed. Are you impressed? I'm so impressed. Okay. And there, it didn't quite line up, so there's kind of a little edge, but don't worry, we're going to sand that off. I've already got these scored. So again, I'm going to line this up on the square edge of my table. You just like being violent. I do. I do. Anyway, I just like being able to do things and not have to say, honey, can you get out your power tools and do this for me? Amen. There we go. So I've got them all trimmed down. 
You're a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'll have to pick all those four up. Yes, yes. And of do. course, and of course you have to save them for another craft project. I don't know what that will be, but by golly, I'm going to use these for something. Get your money out of that okay. thing. So I'm just going to take that end that was kind of sliced. And I'm going to use my little sanding sponge that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to kind of give that a quick sand to take off any roughness. And do that with all four of them. So are you are you thoroughly impressed? Hey, I'm the bomb and I'm the ninja. I did remember Patty, Pennsylvania. I have I have cousins in Pennsylvania. I don't know where they are now, but I know when their parents were still alive, they lived in Upper Darby. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's a big town or a little town. You know, if we ever make it back to uh, Kentucky, we probably have to go all the way back there. You think so? Patty will take us then. <laughs> we can stay at Patty's house. I, I don't eat lunch. Okay. So, I'm going to get rid of all of that. You know, what's really nice is I have a cement floor down here, so I'm just... Get a shop vac and sweep it all up. Okay, so I've got all four of these done. I'm going to quickly give them a stain. Where's something I can stain on? And I'm going to do that baby wipe method. Now, I didn't have, I kind of wanted it to match this, but I didn't have quite the right shade of blue. So I have something called Nightfall. And then I have a little bit of brighter blue. So I'm thinking if I mix the two, I ought to be able to come close. But in the end, it might not matter because I'm probably going to cover it up. So this is very old. I had this when I first learned how to toll paint, which was 5,000 years, 5, years ago. I don't even think I had kids yet. They're old. And they're old now. Okay, so just a touch of... The bright blue. Patty says, I'm impressed. I always I always try myself before I get my husband. <laughs> well, don't Oh, forget, on the power tools? Don't oh. forget husbands need to be needed sometimes. That's true. And I, I don't want to have to call out the ambulance for severed fingers. <laughs> okay. I think that's a hey, look at that. I think it's not a perfect match, but I think. As a stain, I think, when you get it washed on there I with think the water, as a as a as bright. a wash, it will be awesome. Okay, so baby wipe method. I'm going to take my wet wipes, whether they're baby wipes or disinfectant wipes, or they even make just called water wipes. I I don't know how they sell those. How that's a thing? They're just like paper towels that are wet. Why couldn't I have thought of that product? Oh, yes, we sell wet paper towels. Okay, get my hair out of my face. It's still staticky. Okay, so I'm taking my wet towel, and I'm not going to do the gloves. So I'll have blue fingers. We're just going to see if you get it on your on your shirt uh, or on your face. Tonight. Probably should wear an ape. Tomorrow I will be wearing an apron. Tomorrow we are on early. We're on at 10 o'clock Pacific time. And we're doing a very cool project that I have not seen anybody do with, with the Chalk Couture transfers. I've seen them use their Cricut to do this project. You are so tantalizing. I know. When you say that. I know. I'll tell you at the end. I'll tell you at the end what it is. So just to, just and I you need to say this at the end anyway, but um are going to do a live today or tomorrow and Tuesday, but what about Wednesday and well, the rest of the week? This week, Wednesday afternoon, we are flying to Las Vegas for the Chalk Couture Leadership Conference. So thanks to thanks to all of you, I 
earned, I qualified to attend, thanks to your purchases and your support and encouragement. So we are leaving Wednesday to do that. So we will probably pop in to do some lives, but it, they won't, they probably won't be crafting videos because we're trying to go and not use, uh, not use checked luggage. So I don't, I'm not going to have the, I'm not going to have the luxury of, of having a lot of things. But I know while we're there, we get to see the brand new catalog that comes out next month. We get first, first look at it. So I think that's on Saturday. So Saturday night, I will come on late and I'll give you guys a preview of the catalog because they actually give it to us. And they will also, we will also get some of the products. So I will be showing you that. So Monday will be live in the morning, Tuesday, most likely in the evening. After that, it'll be hit and miss. We'll try to check in once a day, but no guarantees because I'm still trying to do that uh, 31 days of live in January. And then we won't be actually and, back home until the following Wednesday. Wednesday. So yeah, the, as soon the, as we'd be able to do it the following Thursday. Yeah, the um, conference is actually Friday and Saturday. But we're going up on Wednesday, so we're going up a day early, and we're staying a couple days later because that's kind of close to our kids, and they're just a couple hours away. So they hopefully will be able to get away and come and visit us. And I get to go to the Imprint Sports and... Workshop. <laughs> yes, he is actually going to leave me in Las Vegas unattended, unsupervised. Well, that's not true. I will be at my thing. And he's going to fly to Long Beach and go to the imprinted sportswear show, which he used to always go to. He used to take his students there. So he's been having withdrawals. And we discovered it was the same weekend. And so I said, you're not, you're not that far away. You could drive. And then we thought better of that. Five-hour trip one way. Five-hour trip right. in Southern California traffic. No, so, thank you. No, thanks. So, and then we discovered the flights. We found some really cheap flights. So I think he's going for $49 each way, which you'd spend that in gas. And okay. Only an hour trip. And I got to pay an Uber driver. Oh, yes. He'll have to Uber. get a Lyft or an Uber or a cab. Uber. Nobody gets cabs anymore, do they? Yeah. Do they? they I are, thought it's all Uber and Lyft. There actually rules at, at uh, the Karen Airport where we're going to be landing. I think you have to take a cab there. I don't know that for sure. Mm. I don't know. We're not, we have a rental car, but. Uh... Have, okay. So I, I only have slightly blue fingers. So these are ready. I'm going to let those kind of air dry. So it's not a perfect match, but that's okay. So set that aside. Let me get rid of this. So we're going to chalk on paper, which means we're going to take this sticky transfer and put it down on paper. So you know what happens when you put tape on paper? you it, it's going to peel up so we want to protect this surface so we're going to use some wax and we're going to treat it like it's wood but it's really just to protect against the stickiness to protect this protect this surface so we're going to just wax this up put a thin layer of wax on all over it does kind of leave a sheen. So even though my transfer might not go into all the corners, it does kind of change the appearance of the paper. So I want to make sure I get it completely. I cover the entire sheet of paper so it looks the same. Okay, so I've got a layer of wax on. 
and now I'm going to find a clean spot and I'm going to buff it off so that there's not any buildup of wax. Too much wax and I'll have trouble with the paste adhering. Okay, so I'm kind of going for a 70s vibe because I barely remember the 70s. <laughs> and I'm going to fuzz this. So I'm going to get out my fuzzing cloth. I will you get either bell bottoms or flares oh, and you have platform shoes. Uh, well, yeah. You didn't need them. No, well, my tall. mom wouldn't my mom wouldn't buy all of the all of the fashionable stuff, but I had a pair of plat one pair of platform shoes. I had I had some bell bottoms. I had the hip hugger bell bottoms. Baby, now I'm excited. Back when I actually probably looked okay in them. Now there's a little too much top to my muffin. Isn't that <laughs> hanging... the best part of the muffin? <laughs> well, not hanging out of your hip huggers. Okay, so I'm just putting some fuzz on this. I was going to say I was going to put fur on this, and I'm probably putting fur on it, but I'm not trying to put fur on. I'm trying to put fuzz on this to ease up on the stickiness so I don't have trouble peeling it off. One of my favorite pictures of you back then is the, um, I, don't, I think it was your high school graduation picture. You didn't quite have the Farrah Fawcett here, but it was close. No, I did. I did try to do the swoopy, swoopy bangs. Yes, you did. Okay, so I got this centered side to side, up and down. So I'm going to kind of start in the middle and push outward. And I do want, I do want the transfer to stick. I just don't want it to stick so well that it rips the paper when it comes up. Okay, so I'm going to trust a little. Okay, that seems good. Now, what color am I going to paste this, you ask? Purple. Okay, so I, when, I, when I think of the 70s, I think of blue jeans and tie-dye t-shirts. Is that kind of what you think of? So I'm going to try to do maybe not a tie-dye effect, but some, tie, some, some bright colors that remind me of tie-dye. And I got something under there. It's not under the screen, but it's just bugging me. The Lore V neck shirt. Oh yes. Ooh. Vest. You you have vest. the vest. Yes. Uh, Shet with the with the fringy vests. Denim leisure suit. Ooh, I wish I had fringe. I don't have any fringe. I'll have to go to the store and buy some fringe and add it to this. Okay, so I've got this pushed down. And paisley. paisley. Oh, oh, you're you know just what? you're just looking in in your fifteen year old's closet, <laughs> thinking, what do I what do I have? Actually, I think you paisley had a was, yeah, you had a 70s. you had a homemade handmade. Don't say homemade. That sounds my, that sounds cheap. My mom made. You it. had a handmade denim leisure suit. And I rocked that, it too. Yes. That what why do you think we're together? That was just <laughs> it was just more than I could resist. Wow. <laughs> okay, so the colors I'm gonna use. I'm kind of thinking neon, but we don't really have neon. So I'm going to use bumblebee and raspberry sorbet and teal. And some of this cadet blue, even though this is blue, I think this should be enough to be a little bit of a contrast. And we're going to do, I can guarantee you that we are going to do a hot mess technique. Now, whether it will look good, I don't know, but it is going to be a hot mess one way or another. So hot mess is when you just kind of plop down colors randomly and kind of swirl them on there. Some people call it a marble technique. I'm not going for a marble look, but we're gonna see how it goes. So I'm going to start and make sure all of my pastes are in good condition. Alana says perfect colors. And I hope so. 
Nero jackets. I don't remember. Oh yeah, yeah with the the Nero was two. was the collar, wasn't it? Okay, so I'm looking for my stir sticks. I'm just gonna make sure because I'm gonna put this on all at once. I'm just making sure my pastes are all good to go. Blue is a little thin. Pink is good. Our dogs are just so bored nowadays, now that we do lives. They're just sitting there, waiting. When are we going upstairs? Okay. Where's the snackos? So I'm just going to, I'm going to start by just kind of putting this on. Here and there. Okay. And some of the teal. And some of the, some of the blue, not too much blue. Well, I'm glad I've got the, um, the limiter on the microphone because Duke, Duke is snoring. snoring. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oops. A little bit of blue in that. So I'm going to stick that back in there. Okay. Let's put a little. Well, that looks like a hot mess to Is me. Is it looking like a hot mess? Well, oh, good. Oh, man. I am mission I accomplished. Say, I was going to say if it was tie dye, I would think of it doing it, the colors in like a circle pattern. Yeah, you know? I just. But I, I don't know that'd work on this, but. Well. We shall see. And if not, all we're out is some paper and a little bit of paste. Okay, so let's start with that. And I'm going to take my small squeegee, which is, here is a mini, and this is a small, so baby squeegee, mama squeegee. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of swirl it around in an S. And I don't want to put too much paste on because I can't use it again. Once I'm done with it, all the colors are going to be mixed together. So I don't want to waste it, but I want to make sure I have enough. So I'm going to just start to swirl. Well, that's definitely like making a mess. Okay, now I'm going back to see I've got everything covered. I don't know. All you need is love, right? Yeah, the Beatles sang all you need is love and then they broke up. Okay. And with all these colors, it's kind of hard to see if I've gotten all of the parts on the screen. You need to put an overdose. Janice thought I'm so close and all the bands are really comatose. Okay, so I'm going to keep this little bit of paste on here and I'm going to start pulling it up and I'm going to go slowly. So if I've missed a, an area, I can lay it back down. Okay, that blue doesn't really show up. Need a little more. Okay, well, it did hot mess. It, it, it did. Hot mess. There you go. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's do it this way. Oh, you're, you're behind the picture. There, I'll do this. I'm trying to put this down. Okay. So, might not be enough of a contrast, but I don't know. I kind of like it. I may go in after I may go in after it's dry and lay down the stencil again and go over it with maybe a lighter color or maybe even a shimmer frost to kind of lighten it all up. I don't know. Anyway, so I don't want to I don't want to put this paste back in my jar because it's all mixed together and it's an icky it's an icky color. So I'm gonna just 
put it on a towel and toss it. And here's our all you need is love. Kind of tie dyed. So let's dry it a bit. I think it does need the lighter colors. Think so? Yeah, you might you might go back and put in more yellow and more of the teal. I wonder if you had a light green in that now, but I think it really is. I like how the bumblebee is is showing. Well, I could go back and I could do it all in Bumblebee. Well, they say, Lana says, that's so cute. It it's is, not the, done yet. I can't the, do that yet. The well. idea is cute. And then, I don't know. Liana says, turned out really good. Patty said, what a neat idea. And Melissa says, very nice. It probably, the, the problem is probably the dark background. So keep that in mind when you when you want to do something like this. Even if it's just trying a new stencil, you can you know give it a okay. shot with a new stencil. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this. I sprayed it with water. I'm gonna start with a paper towel to get all this as much of this off as I can. that in the trash. Then I'm going to get my board eraser, like a Mr. Clean Magic eraser. And I'm going to, I'm just dipping it in some water, wringing it out. And now I'm going to take it and clean up the rest of the paste, going in all kinds of directions, side to side, up and down. My goal is to get that paste out of the screen. And I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the back. I'm going to remove the paste, remove any of the fuzz that we put on it at the very beginning. What do you think? Should I go back over it with just the yellow or just yellow and teal? What do you guys think? I thought you were asking me. Well, I was I was kind of asking you, but you weren't looking at me. I was okay. listening. I was I was listening to you down here, but so, I heard the question. Tell me what you think. Should I go back over? Because now would be the good time to do it. Should I go back over it and just do since what's showing up the most is the teal and the bumblebee? Should I go over it and just do hot mess with those two colors? Like or just the, leave it the way it is. I like the raspberry too. Okay, well, the, yeah, it just doesn't show. The one that's the one that's hurting is the uh, dark blue, and you didn't put much on. I didn't put much on. Um, so I just leave it. Man says yellow and raspberry. Yep, yellow and raspberry. Okay. Okay, well, let's try it one more time. Let's fuzz it. We don't have anything better to do, right? Yeah, I'd get nothing better. Okay. We actually have, we had 15 people on a moment ago. So. Oh, and I'm something, mine says something went wrong. Yeah. It, Reload. Uh, the whole signal tonight, it's got to be Facebook because it's not mm -hmm. us. And I've been watching your phone and mine at the same time. And it. Okay, so let's see if I can get this I'll lined say. up again. Melissa says she likes it the way it is. Is it? Well, I don't want to. This is not a I bad. I don't want to make it worse. It's just a stinking piece of paper. You yeah. can always go back and do it yeah. again. And if I really didn't like it, I could go get another sheet of paper and completely redo it. And I can. I can kind of see right where. I had it before. You know before. what? I should be over the top on that one so you see how you're doing that. Well, I don't know if it'll show up that well, but I don't. you might not be able to see exactly what I can see, but I can lay this screen over the top and see where the paste is and get it right back down in the same spot, ideally. 
Okay, so do we want to do just the pink and the yellow? Hot mess with pink and yellow? Mary has been uh, picked yellow and, and raspberry. Thank you, Alana. Um, you know, okay. there's a lot of the teal seem to show up on there really well. well. How so, about if I don't, if I avoid the teal areas, to be able to do that, and I will sure. just do, I will just do this where the darker. Where it was darker. Yep, Marianne, Marianne is agreeing with you. Okay. Go for it. It's it's just for fun anyway. Okay, so I'm kind of putting this where the darker colors were. And I'm going to put in... Maybe a little teal put in. Okay. But you do it what's looking good there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and a little bit of teal here and there. And if I don't get it completely covered, that'll be okay. Because yeah, I've already yeah. got I've already got a layer of color down. Yes, you don't want to okay. minimal. So. Same thing with small squeegee and same technique, but again, I'm not so concerned about getting the entire screen. I'm just laying down some brighter color in a few places. Okay, and if it and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. That kind of looks like a world map. Does that kind of look like the continent of Africa? <laughs> All the different countries. What does that cloud look like to you? <laughs> All right, let's see what this thing looks like. Here okay. comes the big reveal. Okay. You need a drum roll? Oh, that seems to add quite okay, a bit. So that, that, that brightened it up a bit. Yeah. Okay. Same thing. You watched me. You watched me clean this. I'm just gonna spray it, and I'll clean it later. And let me put the lids back on these. Put them away. And we'll finish drying that, and then we'll attach the attach the. Paint stirrers. Okay. Yeah, so she loves it. So it's really just a, an easy way to use a transfer and not spend a lot on a surface. Some of you are club members and club, you get the transfer and the paste, but you don't get a surface. This way, if, if you don't want to invest in a surface, you can invest in a dollar and a dollar and 50 cents for these little puppies. And oh, I didn't turn that on. And you have a cute little surface. Let me dry this. I don't know if it looks a little tie-dye or if it looks a little reggae or I don't know. I probably should have done it on tie-dye paper and done a salt like this, done tie-dye. This is kind of the opposite of that. I've got the solid background and the the watery colored letters to each their own, right? Okay, I forgot to turn my glue gun on, so while it's heating, I'm going to clean this. Because you can never, you can never watch me clean transfers too much, can you? It's just as exciting as watching the paint dry the other day. Yeah. Well, that's just it. We don't want the paint to dry on this. Okay. So paper towel to get off, to get off the initial 
a damp board eraser, damp, I said, to get off the rest of that paste, focusing on that screen area. Some of the, some of the pastes will stain this green. None of these seem to too much. I think maybe that dark blue kind of did, but that's okay as long as it doesn't dry in the silk screen. It is perfectly fine. And then same thing, get the paste out of the back, get the fuzz off of the back. And voila, or viola. That is That's clean. The way I would have said it. And I'm just going to let that air dry. If you're in a hurry or, or like I was going to use it again, I used a paper towel to dry it off. Ideally, just let it air dry. And when you air dry it, it will become sticky again. Like right now, it's not sticky. Once it air dries, it'll, it will get sticky again. And I'm going to decide which of these I want front and center. I want that. I want some of the wood grain. I might want some of the wood grain. Okay, now these have a ruler, ruler markings. So make sure you don't have those spacing out unless you really want that. Okay, oh, use beads for a hanger. I could do that. Okay, so I think, I think this is hot enough because it's dripping all over the plate. So I'm going to no, it's not quite ready. Not quite ready. It's just starting to drip. Okay, beads for a hanger. Oh, I don't I don't have any blue beads. I might have to do that at a later time. I also thought I found this at Dollar Tree. It is lace with hearts on it. You can't see it. It's got lace with hearts on it. And I thought maybe we could attach it to the hanger. I don't know. I don't know if that, we'll see. Let's get this glued down and we'll see. Sorry, I had my son hit me up here about uh, this coming week. All right, it's starting to go. And I'm going to center that as best as I can. Blue is not quite melted enough. It's getting there. It's getting there. Okay. And I'm going to leave that down there. Which sun is that? Number one? Yeah, number, number one, one sun. sun. Okay. He was wanting to know the itinerary. What days were busy and and um, how many rooms there are. Two rooms and a couch. Yes, this is just regular scrapbook paper. I got it at Hobby Lobby. You know how they have those racks of uh, different individual sheets. So if you don't have any scrapbook paper. You can buy it just one sheet at a time. Some of you who have done scrapbooking might have the big old books of, of different kinds of scrapbook paper to choose from. Okay, so I'm going to put a little more on this. Line that up, press that down. Do, 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 do. 
So there's the bottom. Right. Let me do the top. Tom Silva would be Liar. proud of how you're putting how you put that look, on. That looks crooked, doesn't it? That might look crooked, but we don't care. Because everybody who survived the 70s <laughs> came, out, came out a little minutes. crooked. They're just glad to have survived. I was just a child in the 70s. Yes, okay. you were. So there is our... our. I'm glad you went back and hit that with the... And OBM. let's see. I, do, I don't have any beads handy, and I only have natural colored ones and red ones well and pink have, ones natural ones would have been appropriate for the 70s that's true you, but you used to do macrame in the 70s yes but i didn't do macrame with tie-dye but you did macrame okay. with natural beads yes because you did them you did yes, one did. a couple of mm -hmm. plant hangers for my mom yes i did okay so i'm just going to now i could this is thick enough i could staple gun this to the back because it's the the two of these are thick enough to do a staple gun should i do that or should i tie it what do you think i i think the staple gun would be quicker the tying you can make pretty little bows you know assuming, how i care about that assuming that's assuming if you have your staple gun there i do there it I is do. Okay, so I'm just going to do it quick. Now, I could tie this, and I could put beads, but I'm not going to. I am going to tie a little knot here, and then I'm going to shoot it in there, and it's thick enough that it didn't come through the front. Perfect. And let's see how long I want this. I'm thinking it's Sunday night on Facebook. That's what I'm Sunday. thinking it is. That's what, I mean, that's why we're having these issues oh. with the... Because everybody's Facebook. on Facebook on Sunday night? They must be. There must all be more. Okay. The thing is, is we don't know how many other craft things are going on right now. Oh, because hundreds. We're on. Hundreds. Everybody's crafting. And we're thankful that you're we're... here watching Robin. Yes. And we're thankful even if you're not and you catch us on the replay. Yeah. Absolutely. We are good with that too. Just comment though. We get credit if you comment. Okay, so here I've got it tacked on the back. Now, do we want... Is this too much? Is this too... All you need is love, love. Love is all you need. Is this too... Is this too 80s? Does this go or should we leave it off? I don't think the, I don't think the lace is too 80s. Is it? For some reason, that reminds me of my sister Priscilla. So, but in the seventies, but did that did it remind her of that in the seventies? I don't know. I don't, if, know that. I don't know if we've lost everybody. I haven't had a comment for well, a while. I, some of it might be the um, might be the frames, but um, yeah, I I agree, Patty. I like it without without. Okay, know, so I, it's an I, option. I, I, I thought this was really pretty for a dollar. I think it's 1.3 yards. 46.8 inches. No, that's not even a meter. A meter is 40. Well, that's true. Yeah. So it's an odd measurement. Maybe it's an English measurement. Right, Jackie? No. <laughs> okay, Margie likes it. it. She thinks it brightens it up. Patty likes it without and that is just fine and dandy when you're crafting you can do whatever you want 
you know what? Put it on there. And if you don't like it after well, all, take it off. I could I could maybe tack it on. Just put a couple not, of not glue dots staple, on it. Staple, but I could couple, I can maybe put a couple of glue dots on it and it'll come off real easy. Yeah. Okay, so we'll try that. And if we really don't like it. We can peel it off. No problem. No problema llama. You had a nap. You can't say you're just tired. I'm just silly. Okay. I don't know. It reminds me of the 80s. For some reason. All the little lacy stuff. Again, Priscilla. Priscilla was was in her stride in the eighties, wasn't she? Oh, she was. She was always in her stride. That's true. Okay. Yeah, Marianne says it does brighten it up. That's true. So again, I'm just I'm just putting a couple little dots. So if I decided I really didn't like it, I could peel it off pretty easily. I could reheat that uh, hot glue. And peel it off, and you never know. Okay. So there we have it, with or without I the like heart-shaped lace. Well, there it is. It. I think it. I really do think it needs fringe, suede fringe. I, it needs fringe. <laughs> it needs fringe. It needs fringe. Not like stripper fringe, <laughs> like suede fringe. Or the really long or stuff. Or macro. Oh, I okay. could do like a macrame hanger. That's right. Anyway, okay. I'm, but I digress. Okay, did, so. Did any of you do macrame, you know, tying the knots? You guys even know what that is? I don't know how old all these folks are. I don't know. Okay, raise your hand if you know what macrame is. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Back to the classroom. Put away my stuff. Okay, this is dry. Alana's back. She like I like fringe. Great idea. <laughs> okay, so this is dry. So I'm gonna put my backer paper back on the shiny side to the sticky side. I don't think that's in our picture. It's not. That's all right. And I'm just gonna line up an edge, lay it down, smooth Margie it says out. She did macrame. Did you? Okay. I want what it is. She raised her hand. I won a trophy at the county fair for a macrame hanger, macrame plant hanger. I think that was actually my first business because I sold, I sold some macrame pieces. I didn't make macrame clothes though. Okay, so I put it back in its little plastic sleeve, guaranteed to be reusable, reusable 10 to 12 times by the company. Just clean them up <laughs> as soon as you're done. Marianne, I agree. Bottom lace points should, well, yeah. <laughs> but then, you know but then the hearts are upside down. Is that? It's so hard to make these. Choices. I know, I know. So, I'm gonna since I've already glued it down, I'm gonna leave it. But that is a good point. Margie did it in art class in high school. Wow, back when there was art in high school. Back <laughs> Okay, so cute little, cute little banner, easy to do, under a dollar, for all the all the surface supplies. Uh, again, if you like this transfer, the all you need is love, type in Beatles in the in the comments and I'll send you a link to the transfer, some of the supplies. I don't have the paint I don't have any paste in there because I don't know what colors you like. Um, and again, the where did it go? The little Valentine mini kits are still available. I got a few left. So you can type Valentine in the comments to get a link to purchase those. And we will be back on again in the morning. And what we're going to do is, and I haven't seen it, I haven't seen it done with our transfers. I've seen it done with Cricut 
Cricut made stencils, but those are like one time use. And anyway, we are going to etch on stainless steel. So I tried it and it worked and it was awesome. So I'm hoping it works again tomorrow. But you want to join us at 10 o'clock for etching on stainless steel. It's, it's a little more involved than etching on glass, but it looks, it looks really cool. So join us tomorrow and I'll show you, I'll show you how to do it. If you aren't able to join us live, catch the replay because we, we keep all the replays up and I think, I think we're good. So thanks for hanging out with us. Even if we were having troubles with Facebook, thanks for sticking with us. And we will see you tomorrow. And let me, let me pose. And we'll see you tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock Pacific time. Bye-bye.